No one is born as a superhero. And nobody is naturally born as being a strong and confident personality. Getting out of the comfort zone is part of the process. I think that we are becoming comfortable with all of the things because we have repetitively already spent time with them. This world has not been created for you to only enjoy the peaceful aspects about it. The first time you are experiencing the cold, it's uncomfortable. The more you train it, the more you practice it, the more you expose yourself to the cold, you are getting at ease being in the cold to the point where you maybe even feel comfortable outside in the cold. The same is like you are not feeling comfortable speaking in front of an audience. You practice it, you repeat this same pattern and then sooner or later you are becoming more comfortable. So comfort is very often related to the fact you have already experienced, you have already went through a certain amount of times. This is why you are feeling comfortable in that situation. Vice versa. What does it now mean if something is making you uncomfortable? That just means you are reaching a borderline. You are reaching a limit that you until now have not yet crossed often enough. Why do I think it is necessary to cross the lines, to cross your own limits and lines from time to time? Because elsewise you will be stuck in your own limited view of what you have experienced already. If you are living a comfortable life, it only means you are continuously staying inside a field of what you know already. Everyone is going to face challenges. You are going to face them because living this life is ultimately connected with challenges. There are two things in that warrior mindset to be avoided. Number one is to run away. Because running away means that whatever just came into your life, you can't, you can't learn from it anymore because there is again distance between that new situation and yourself. And at the same time, there is no connection, meaning you can't have an influence on it. So therefore, number one, face it. Number two, be honest to yourself. Those two things, you should keep them in mind and then just put time, effort into practice. I think is the key to step by step build something up about yourself, about your life, about your character and personality that will give you some strong fundament in order to tackle everything that this world is going to throw at you. The two things to keep in mind is you do not look away when challenges come and number two is you, you don't blame yourself if at that moment in time you are not able to face it. The only thing you're gonna do is you step back, you take time for yourself, you invest the work and prepare yourself to return. So every time you are crossing that line, every time you are expanding that border, you are expanding that limit, for me this means there is some growth, there is some new discovery, because what you are doing is you are bringing light 
into a space that before that time was a space of uncertainty. It's uncomfortable because you don't know the outcome of what is going to happen if you cross that line. That's why it's uncertain. That's why people are afraid of uncertainty. But there is only one way to find out and make uncertainty become knowledge. And that one is through experiencing it. After you do it, then you know. You just can't explain it by words. Somewhere these words are hitting a barrier. And that barrier can only be broken in the moment where the knowledge, the intellectual knowledge, starts to transform into action. And that action is going to bring you the answer. And experience gives you what you need in order to move on. We are not superhuman. We are not perfect. But I know that every time I face something and I feel, okay, I'm not good enough at the moment, at least I know what, what needs to be done. And so for me, in a way, every time I, I face something, every time I'm being exposed to a new challenge, every time when I feel it's a challenge, it only tells me there again is a chance now to, to grow. Because this growing is the opposite of something is decreasing, something is dying, something is closing up. To grow, to open up, is the same as to bring light into the things. It doesn't matter what challenges it is that you are facing there. It is the fundamental principle behind it that you do not run away. That you are open for everything that is being thrown at you. I didn't ask for an easy life. I take what comes. If it leaves, I let it pass. That when hard times come, you just push through. The question is, how are you now going to deal with it? What can you do knowing that you're gonna walk this lifetime that you will have challenges? Mental challenges, physical challenges. Prepare yourself. Prepare and condition the mind. No one is born as a superhero. And nobody is naturally born as being a strong and confident personality. Getting out of the comfort zone is part of the process. Today's video was made possible at mullingmothers.com where you can now get the Memento Mori poster, a poster to remind you that you're gonna die. It's 80 years of tiny little squares that you shade in and one day you won't shade in another box. And if that doesn't get you motivated, I don't know what will. Use code STOIC at checkout with the link in the description at mullingmothers.com for 10% off.